Today's Mercedes-Benz interview of the day brought to you by Mercedes-Benz EV. Everything you love about Mercedes, the style, the comfort, the tech, the choice, now available in electric. The feeling all Mercedes, choice all yours. Learn more, mbusa.com slash EQ. He is the Hall of Fame running back, Jerome Bettis, who joins us on the program. You know what? Let me start with your Steelers. How much of an upgrade is Russell Wilson over Kenny Pickett? Uh, you know what? It, it's difficult to say um, upgrade. What you say is you got a guy that's in a different place because I'm a I'm a Kenny Pickett fan. Uh, I think Kenny Pickett, you know, his development is 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 coming. Uh, obviously, he's not there yet. But when you look at a guy in, in Russell Wilson, he is in a different place in his career. Right? He's established, veteran guy. He's done it for a long time at the highest level. So I don't think there's a comparison in terms of those two. I think Russell Wilson is the guy that you need right now for wins. I think if you, you know, you look at Kenny Pickett, he's going to be the guy for the future, if you will. Um, it, you, you bring in a hired gunslinger, basically, is what you're doing, right? And I think it makes sense because everybody's on the hot seat, right? It's the must-win scenario. And I think, uh, you know, Coach Tomlin gets it. And he's like, listen, we got to win tomorrow. And this is the best way for them uh, to do that. I wonder, is Tomlin in for the long haul? Doesn't he have one year left on his contract? And could you see him maybe doing some TV uh, and stepping away from coaching? You know what? I, I tell you this. I think it depends on how this year goes. I think if this year does not go – uh, extremely well, and they make a deep run, and, and and the excitement and the energy is there. I can see him, you know, taking a step back, taking a year. Um, you know, obviously his kids are grown now. Um, he's in a different place um, personally, so I think, yeah, that that might be something to consider if things don't go well. If things go extremely well, they make it make a really really deep run. I think the the energy and I think the commitment will definitely be there. All right, the uh, running back signing that you think was the best. What situation? I, I think Saquon Barkley. I think he is. You know, he's the he was the gem of the free agency class, if you will. Uh, so you know, whoever got him, I thought was going to put themselves in great position. Never, ever, ever one day thought the Eagles were in play for Saquon Barkley. And just like the Eagles have done, you know, in the draft, they always find ways to, to kind of outsmart you uh, and, and fool you. And, and, and you don't know what they're doing. And they did it again. So I think they got the, the best running back uh, in, of the bunch. And I think that propels them uh in a incredible way because you've got a guy who can do it all and a special player and you got an offensive line that's um that's really strong so i i think um uh, the eagles uh pulled the surprise tiki barber even if it was tongue in cheek said uh, saquon barkley is dead to him he hurt his legacy <laughs> by leaving the giants and signing with the eagles your reaction is so when i when I heard it, I was a little, I, I, I had pause, but when I saw it, I understood, you know, obviously, you know, if, if somebody, you know, goes from Pittsburgh and then goes to the Ravens in Baltimore, you know, I, I'm going to say the same thing. Like, come on, man. Are you kidding me? Right. Uh, and so I, I get it. I, you know, it's, it's one of those you got to be be conscious of of how it was used, right? The context, and I think in this context, I don't think that was um, out of line. Now, if hearing just hearing it, one hundred percent, I'd be like, "What?" Uh, but if you know, if, if I'm Saquon Barkley and somebody told me that, I get where he's coming from. But if he sees how it was said, he should he should you know kind of pull back and say, you know what? I get it. You know, he's, you know, he's, he's showing for his team. I get it. You know, he's a lifer with, with the giants and you know, it's all good, but I don't think he saw 
the tongue and cheekness of the comment. Yeah, but he made a better deal. The Giants didn't want him, and the Eagles maybe overpaid for him. You know, what was he supposed to do? Uh, it, no, it's just the it's the fans in all of us, yeah. right? It, it's not. It, it was nothing um, personal, and it was nothing business wise, right? From a business standpoint, every player knows. Hey, you got to make the best deal for you, right? And if if someone else is calling, you got to peel that that logo off and put another put another <laughs> one on there, right? <laughs> Bussy, so I it, get that. Okay, it would be like um, I'm going to stop dating this girl. And then she decides to date my best friend. I don't want to date her anymore, but how dare you date my best friend? Exactly. Right. You're not supposed. And then you say, hey, best friend, what kind of friend are you? (laughs) You're not supposed to date my ex. It's like, wait a minute. Your ex is beautiful. What are you talking about? You can't take her off the block. I mean, she's gorgeous. Mm. So I get it. Um, And I think in this particular situation, uh, I think Saquon can can really unload the gun and and not be uh, as as uh, upset as I think he was yeah, initially. He overreacted uh, because yeah. Tiki's saying this. And if Tiki said, "Hey, as Giants fans, you're dead to us because now you're with the Eagles," this felt like it was Tiki who was going after Saquon. And Saquon said, look, you've been a hater since day one. And Tiki turned his back on the Giants when he went into TV. I, so I think there's there's different levels here. They're not on the same level. And if Saquon... 100%. Yeah. They're, they're not. They're not. I, and, <laughs> and, and the comment that, that Saquon made, it, 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 it tends to take you to... Well, somebody's giving him that information. Obviously, you know he was he was you know I don't know he was barely in college when that when that happened. If he was in college, right? Yeah. So, so so you know you have to say it with a little pause because that part was some you know there was some other meaning to that, which that really wasn't what it it was. It wasn't that serious or significant a statement. To, to deserve the response that, that it got. <laughs> Talking to Jerome Bettis, the Hall of Fame running back. By the way, Jerome Bettis, Blue and Gold Golf Classic. Uh, if you're interested in that, that will take place in the Hamptons coming up this summer, May 20th and 21st. Go to uh, blueandgoldclassic.com and uh, it uh, benefits the Notre Dame Endowment and the Bus Stops Here Foundation. Where's your Hall of Fame jacket? Ah, oh, it is. It's in the closet. Okay. It is. Yeah, I, I, I keep it in. I keep it in plastic in the in the closet. When's the last time you put it on? Actually, I had to bring it to the Super Bowl. There was an event that they asked uh, for me to wear the gold jacket. So you know, it, it's very few times that I wear it. But you know, when the when the request comes in, it's one of those you're like, okay. But the problem is, you know. When you're packing, you never pack a, a jacket, something I'm just going to wear one time, you know, in a week. So you try to get multiple uses out of it, but that's not one of those things you could just show up with a go jacket, but like, oh, I just threw this thing on. Yeah, not quite. Maybe a little bit of overkill. Have you ever worn it uh, to go to sleep? You ever worn it in bed? <laughs> I have not. But I will say this. When I when I was first in when I when I got it, uh, it, it had its own seat. Um, early on, it had its own seat. It kind of did things as its own person. <laughs> wait, wait um, where was the seat for your <laughs> Hall of Fame jacket? Like at the table? <laughs> so, the funny story when, when when we flew we flew, when we flew in to uh, Canton, we flew in. Uh, private on a private play and everything, and so when we came back, it had its own seat <laughs> and it kind of sat there, and it was just it was his own. So it kind of was born out of that. So then when we get home, it, it had a seat at the house. Uh, when we had dinner at the dinner table, it had a seat with us. So it just it kind of took on a life of its own. It's like okay, bring the jacket with us. You know, it's, it's like the you know the the the, the little dog. 
You know, bring 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 Bryce with us. No, bring bring the jacket with us. So it, it, it became part of the family. Great to talk to you again, Bussy. Thanks for joining us. Talk soon. Thank you. Take care. That's the Hall of Famer, Jerome Bennis.